Hey friends, it's Leela here and I'm doing a, a, a new, uh, I'm, I'm shooting this live video from a new camera. From, I got Mercury Retrograde all up in my grill. <laughs> and uh, how to get a new phone, it was time. So there were some, there were some things that I'd been uh, kind of feeling coming with it. So anyways, new phone, new video. What's up Angela, what's up girlfriend? So I just wanted to talk a little bit, you know, there's a, you know, I'm a, I'm a business coach, first of all, and, and a lot of you guys know that already. And I often talk about, you know, building your business with sustainable energy, so not overwhelming yourself. And, and it's not about, here's what I'll say, it's not about not hustling, because I've built my, I built my business on hustle, period. Like, I, I haven't met a millionaire yet who hasn't built their business on hustle. What I will say is that you can be in the hustle and have presence and calm sustainable energy not wear yourself out so you could actually hustle more <laughs> so don't demonize the hustle and I want to get give me some hearts if you've ever had to hustle in your life to get where you want to go and you got there and you and then you went slow and it didn't work it's, it's not like you always have to hustle but there are going to be times where you're going to have to hustle and I don't tell people this very much but I'm going to be real I'm going to tell you the truth I'm going to tell you a little secret ready in 2017 uh, I worked every single day but one day. Every single day but one day in 2017. Okay, and I, you know, I, I was like, I'm going to hit six figures in my business. Boom. Uh, you know, it's like, I, but I did. I, I, and I want to say that because I, I preach don't wear yourself out. And it's, it, it is don't wear yourself out. I have a lot of capacity. I don't know how much capacity, like how much capacity do you have, right? So, um, if you can hustle, hustle. Like, if you have a goal of, like, a big business and beautiful, you want to help the world, uh, like, get rid of your TV, go to bed early, <laughs> stop drinking and being hungover, right? Um, stop wasting time doing things. Really focus and have fun. Be present. Breathe. If you just breathe all the time, you can hustle like a mofo, okay? So if you need help, if you're, like, working hard and not getting anywhere, let me know. It might just be energetic. Like, you're not able to really be present, calm, clear. People want clarity. You really just need presence, sweetie. You just need presence. And so don't demonize the hustle. You gotta hustle. You gotta get on it. You gotta work. If you want big, if you got, here's what I'll say. If you wanna get somewhere fast, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have to hustle all the time. If you wanna get somewhere fast, you gotta get on it. You gotta get on it. Okay? Now, you can get on it with no stress. You can get on it like it's your natural way of being. You could work 12 or 15 hours a day, not all the time, but you could work 12 or 15 hours a day and be fine. As long as your brain's straight and your body's, you know, healthy and you're breathing the whole time. No no attachments to any expectations, no judgments, just in the flow like snow I don't know <laughs> I'm not a rapper I'm working on that I should take some improv or something uh, okay presence yeah presence less than that yeah hey Haley hey uh, Christy so good to see you guys I can't see everybody here oh I see so I, I see uh, uh, Nate, <laughs> Nate those two cats love you guys so give me a give me a note down here give me a note like where in your life have you hustled before I'll give you guys a couple little stories I hustled when I was a kid in eighth like seventh grade Actually, seventh grade, because I remember the math teacher that caught me and told me I could no longer do it. <laughs> in seventh grade, I would ride my bicycle up to Meyer, the grocery store in Dayton, Ohio. Meyer, for anybody who knows Meyer. Uh, and I would um, buy blow pops, as many as I could with as much money as I had. And then I'd go to, sell and, I'd go to school and sell them as quick as I could. Hustling, right? I wasn't spending my time playing in the backyard or, or playing video games or talking to friends. I was riding my bike, right, to the grocery store to get something so I could make money. <laughs> because I wanted, then I could buy some, I, I always had whatever I wanted, pretty much. I, I never really went without in terms of big time, like I was a cheerleader. Oh my God, that's really what it was. It was like, I needed cheerleading money. Like cheerleading was expensive. How many of you guys know that cheerleading is expensive or like dance or something like that's expensive? I was a basketball cheerleader, I was a football cheerleader, summer camp, all the clothes, the cute makeup, the hair doodles, right? Like, uh, Hello, and you had to dress cute if you're a cheerleader, right? And then I was smart, so I had to like do well in school and be in all the like clubs that I could and be on yearbook staff. And then 
I'm just always volunteering. Imagine me volunteering for all the things. Can you imagine? <laughs> you need money. My mama didn't have any money. So I was like, I'm gonna sell blow pops. I'll make some money. I'll be a cheerleader. <laughs> And then, like, um, in high school, my 16th birthday, I woke up that day. I said, Mom, take me to the root beer stand. 16th birthday, I knew exactly what I was going to wear. Jean skirt, uh, that it was bongo that buttoned up the front. White tank top, white little tennis shoes, like kids, but generic. Uh, and um, I went to the root beer stand, and I got the job that day, right? And then... Um, when eBay came out, I, I was like, I would go to the, con the thrift stores and I would buy, uh, like I would spend like three hours buying stuff that was like high end name brand, like stuff that I knew was sold at like Saks Fifth Avenue and places that are really high end. And then I would go home and like Google and find out how much it was. And then I would put it on eBay and sell it and make like a huge profit. Okay. So this is like, you know, I've always had a good time. I've always been fun and done social stuff, but I've worked. I've worked. I've been studying. I mean, I went to college, bachelor's degree, master's degree, six years in a PhD program, right? Taught like, you know, between TAing and teaching, 17 courses at Ohio State. Uh, I, I just like, you know, when I was working in, uh, you know, with uh, engineering consulting firms, I was on a dance team. I've been a cheerleading coach. I just love to juice life. So don't demonize the hustle. And also don't compare yourself to me. And don't compare yourself to anybody else, right? Because your life is your life. You don't, Maybe hustle isn't for you. I love the hustle. Somebody recently told me, they said, you have a really big gas tank, Leela, right? I've had somebody else say, you're a little woman with nine foot energy. Yeah, I love life. And so the key here is not to demonize the hustle, but to maximize your presence. And if you need help, let me know. Because that's what I help business owners do. Not just build that, you know, you need help with your offerings. I love to teach high ticket offer and sales and marketing and all the fun stuff, right? Speaking and Facebook Live and woo. And at the same time, the key to unlocking your greatest potential lies within you. And that's presence, sustainable energy, power beyond what the strategy teaches you. And that's what I'm here to tell you today. Keep on the hustle. Keep on the hustle game if you want something. You got to keep on it. But you can do it in a way that's fun and light and 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 you don't get sick and you don't get worn out okay and Alina said hey six years ago I organized a charity event with yoga Pilates and dance in the biggest stadium of Greece Woo! with 1500 people hustle game yeah girl when you got a big dream and you're just on it you're like you're on it I'm trying I'm I, you know I, I sometimes when people see my calendar they're like whoa I'm like yep I got big dreams. I got a big mission here on the planet. I'm helping humanity. Okay? So, if you're here to help humanity, let's rise up together. Don't demonize the hustle. Increase your presence. I love you guys. Peace out, homies. Have a really great day. I'm about to, uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some really cool stuff soon. I can't tell you guys yet, but it's going to be cool. So, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm real jazzed about it. I'm, I'm going to bring it forward soon. But right now, I'm going to go for a walk. Can you see Speedy? Let me take it, Speedy. Hey, Speedy. He naps behind me on a blanket. It's hilarious, friends. This is how we, we drive together. He's behind me. I create space, a little blanket. He uh, pretty much rules my life. Okay, okay. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. There are no bad days. There are only all good days. All good days. All good days. Bye, friends. Keep hustling.